What's up guys, Random Reza here with another product review video for you guys today and today we're going to check out a cordless two-stage snow blower from Snowjo. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, test it out and give you guys my quick in-depth review. So one of the nice things about this snow blower is that it comes in a nice big box and yes it will be delivered directly to your door for those of you who order it online. Popping the top open you can see Snowjo does a pretty good job at neatly packaging this together. The first thing that we have here is the dual battery charger next to your 240 volt both 6 amp lithium batteries and then your manual and warranty information as well as the clamps in the bag. Next we have the chute to take out and last but not least is the snowblower itself. So once you have the snowblower out of the box there is a little bit of assembly required, nothing too difficult. First off you have to mount the chute to the snowblower and to do that pretty simple remove the four screws on the mount, place the chute onto the blue mount and reattach the blue screws. The last thing you have to assemble is the control arm and just like the chute it's nothing too difficult. There are two different heights which you can set this at, I'm going to set it at the highest. Now once you have your height set, grab your bag of goodies, there's two clamps on each side, attach the screws to the clamps and you're all set to go. Once you're done assembling the snowblower, I do recommend charging the batteries before you put them in and once they're fully charged, slap them in and now we can power this thing up. So before we head outdoors, let's take a quick overview of the snowblower while we're still warm indoors. So starting off with the top here, for those of you who are coming from a gas snowblower, a lot of things will be pretty similar. On the left and right side, we have two plastic ergonomic handles, and instead of long levers, we have these long buttons to enable the wheels on the left and the auger control on the right. For the auger controls, there's a safety button here that you have to press first, and then you depress the long button. There's also a switch on the left handle that controls the powered chute, which you can swivel left and right. Moving a little bit down, we have your control pad area. Over here, you have your big red kill switch, which you can enable just by pressing it like so. And to disable it, you just twist it towards the right. On the other side here, you have your on and off key switch, which is a nice little feature, especially if you have children, you can take the key with you and you don't have to worry about them turning on the snowblower. When you fire this up, the control pad in the center here does light up. Taking a closer look, you have two battery status indicator lights for the left and right batteries. These three buttons here control your speed, one meaning slowest, three meaning the fastest. And when you select a button, it does turn green to show you which speed you're on. And to turn it off, you just hit the button again. On the bottom here, you have this export button. And basically what this button does is, for example, let's say you're finished snow blowing, you're at the end of the driveway. This button here allows you to move the snowblower faster than the third speed on the top here. However, this only works when the auger is off. The center here is your reverse button. And last but not least is your LED headlights. And speaking about lights, you do get two 3 watt LED headlights. They're fairly bright for LEDs, but they also swivel up and down for maximum visibility. As you guys saw during the installation, the handles here are all metal. Powering the snowblower is a 2500 watt brushless motor. One of the advantages with having a brushless motor is that you get longer run times and therefore longer battery life out of this. And there's actually two, technically three if you count the little motor for the powered chute, one motor for the wheels, and the main motor for the augers. And the reason you want two motors is that one can control the wheels without losing power for the augers. The bottom part of the motor is encased in metal with a plastic cover on the top. Lastly, on top of the motor here conceals your two 40 volt 6 amp lithium batteries. They're concealed in this clear plastic and for those of you who have other Snowjo Ion products, these batteries are interchangeable. My only complaint really is that the plastic cover doesn't stay open when you open it. Now the great thing about having an electric motor over a gas one is that it's less maintenance. You don't have to worry about putting gas in the tank, playing around with the starter and choke, or worry about oiling every year and of course better for the environment because there's no emissions. You'll notice at the bottom of the metal casing that there's a blue LED light on both sides and that is there just to let you know that there is power going into the electric motor. Moving on you have your powered chute. It does swivel 180 degrees left and right. In front of the chute you also have a wired guard and to adjust the angle of the chute it is a manual control with a simple handle on the top. And finally on the front here we do have your two stage augers. Now this model here is painted black to let you know that this is the second generation model. And thankfully the entire front area here is all metal construction. You have the Snowjo logo engraved on the top. And Snowjo does include a little shovel here in case you have large chunks of ice or something stuck inside. Taking a look at the front here, it's pretty much identical to what you expect with a gas powered two stage snowblower. You got the gearbox in the center, two large metal serrated augers in blue. 
And just like a gas powered one, there are also shear bolts on each side to prevent any damage to the gearbox and the motor. You can adjust the height via the glide shoes on the left and right, as well as the blade on the front here. And as a closer look at the inside again, you can see the front augers as well as the rear augers, which is why they call it a two-stage. In regards to the dimensions, it is 24 inches wide and can clear up to 13 inches of snow. Anyways, that is a quick overview of the Snowjo 80 volt Ion snowblower. So through the magic of YouTube, we'll wait for a snowstorm to hit and test this out. So it's been about four weeks since the first part of the video and we finally get a decent amount of snow, not just any snow, but also packing snow to demonstrate this snowblower. So the snow is roughly just over half a foot, so it's fairly deep, but the biggest thing for me is that, like I mentioned, it is packing snow, so it is kind of wet snow, which would be a really good test for the snowblower. Now, I did make one modification to the snow, Joe. I replaced the metal gliders with these large plastic ones. And the reason for that is because I'm using this on a gravel driveway, the metal ones tend to dig into the gravel, so I got these large plastic ones to compensate for that. And that's just some advice out there for those of you who have a gravel driveway and thinking of getting a snowblower of any kind. So let's fire it up and test it out. <laughs> So after using the snow drill a couple times, the first time on a pile of fluffy snow and the second time for a good foot of wet snow, I have to say I'm pretty impressed for what a battery operated two stage snow blower was even capable of. I like how the controls are simple to use and the look and feel of the snow blower still maintains that theme of a gas powered one from the looks, the design, to even the long buttons that replicate that lever style handle on a gas blower. Performance wise, it worked very well. It took on that foot of wet snow without too much difficulty, shot the snow at a reasonable distance away from the driveway, and most importantly, made the job easier than one with a shovel. The only difficulty I had was attempting to take on that large snow bank on the sidewalk consisting of slush, water packed snow, and basically everything that the snow plow took from the road and put it on one pile. Now the snow drill was able to take on this snow bank, but it did take a little bit of huffing and puffing just because the snow was so compacted and heavy and wet. And the reason you have to be gentle with it is because if you push it too hard and the auger system gets too bogged up, the motor will automatically shut off to prevent any damage to the electric motor. All that being said, although it took a little bit longer than a usual gas powered one, 
the soldier was able to get through the snowbank. I'm sure most of you are wondering, can this be a replacement for a gas snowblower? And the short answer is yes and no. For the average two-lane suburban car driveway, I can see this as being more than enough for the typical snowfall. However, the reason I would say this may not be ideal is for those of you who have a larger driveway than your typical suburban home, or if you plan on using it for to do your neighbors, plus the sidewalk, or even for commercial purposes, the batteries just don't make it feasible for that since it can take up to two to three hours to fully recharge them from empty, unless you got a spare pair. In summer, here's the pros of the snowblower that I do like compared to a gas-powered one. First off, it's much quieter than a gas-powered one, so you can actually have a conversation with someone while operating it. It's very quick to start, there's no need to pull a starter motor, just turn the key and it's ready to go. It's also easier to maneuver because it's lightweight, weighing at 98 pounds, so even the elderly can even operate this snowblower. In addition, because it's lightweight, it's easy to put on the bed of a truck or even an SUV. And one of the obvious advantages with this is that you don't need to buy gas for it. You just need to recharge the batteries, don't have to worry about fumes, exhaust, oiling it, and every other maintenance feature that is required with a gas one that you don't need to do with this electric one. In regards to cons, well, it's quite obvious. It won't be as good performance-wise compared to a gas-powered snowblower. A gas blower will get the job done quicker and in general have better speed, throwing power, and tackle harsher conditions like a big snowbank left by a snowplow than the snow joe can. In addition, a tank of gas on a snowblower is going to give you a longer runtime than a fully charged set of batteries. Therefore, if you're planning on using this to do your neighbors, a sidewalk, or if you're going to make some money by doing other driveways around your neighborhood, then of course a gas powered one is much more feasible. In conclusion, like I said, considering this is one of the first feasible battery powered two-stage snowblowers out there, it's pretty impressive at what it can do. It won't be as good performance wise compared to a gas powered one, but sometimes you don't need all that power, especially if you're just doing a typical suburban two lane driveway. Many of the advantages of the Snowjo are very attractive from not having to buy gas to a maintenance free operation. Thus, if it fits your needs, it can be a worthwhile alternative to a gas powered snowblower. For my uses, I found it more than adequate for the gravel driveway, which is what it's primarily going to be used for. It took last night's wet snowfall without too much difficulty, and it's easy to use with its simple push button controls to change your speeds to reversing. So in the end, if you're looking for a brand new snowblower, and this one looks like it'll fit your needs and driveway, I think it's a great alternative to a gas park one. Snow Joe is one of the first brands out there to push one out, and considering gas prices won't really get any better in the near future, it's about time we start seeing some alternative ways of snow blowing. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about this two-stage cordless battery powered snow blower, ask away in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out, and I'll see you all in the next video.